Brett here from fitnessgroomcafe.com and I'm here at the Perth Fitness Expo again with uh, Nick Aspinali from iFitness and we're here on the stage's bike. Nick, I feel a little bit naked without a helmet but you know these things are a machine. Are. Tell, us, tell us a little bit more about them. Okay, well it's interesting you mentioned that about the helmet. Uh, <laughs> stages actually come from a background in outdoor cycling. They, they do, yeah. You might be familiar obviously yeah, very familiar. With, with Chris yep. Froome and Team Sky, obviously Definitely. recently uh, got to the top of the Tour de France. Sure did. And they did that with the Stages power meter. Wow. wow. And the reason why they use Stages is it is actually the most accurate power meter on the market. Wow. Okay. And what that means is obviously when you're seeing a, a 400 watts on your console, yep. you're actually getting 400 watts, give or take a couple of percentage points, which right. in the power power industry is very very accurate. Yep. Yep. Now, are these uh, are these chain driven? Interesting you say that, Nate. They're actually a, a carbon glide belt, right? So they're belt driven, right. but because again, Stages is is truly the only outdoor cycling company to come into indoor cycling. Yep. They've really tried to focus on still giving that outdoor feel. Yeah. So well, I, I can actually I'll tell you guys right now, even though it's a it's not a genuine chain, um, uh, it's a belt driven bike. I can really feel it underneath my legs, which, I, you know, some people like it smooth. I actually like it to feel like more like a bike. Right? That's right, absolutely. Uh, yeah, really good. It's a, it's carb, it's a carbon, carbon uh, glide belt, as I mentioned, which actually has the longest warranty on the market, 10 years. Yep. So yep. from, a, from a, uh, a club owner, club manager perspective, it means they've got no concerns about longevity. And then they've got all of the advantages in terms of reliability. And, and as with the chain, Obviously, it's a great feel, but it yeah. comes at a cost of servicing. Yeah, and that, that cost is obviously the, the chain actually loosens, uh, like it's, it gets longer, so you, you do have to adjust and replace. So. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so as I say, it's a fantastic product. We've only just launched it um, in the last few months. It's been extremely well received. Yeah. Um, I'll go through a couple of yeah, key, yeah, please, key please points do. on it for you. Yeah. So the bike itself, um, it's a premium bike um, built by Giant, yep. so they've got a good pedigree obviously in building world-class bikes um, so it's a hydro alloy f uh, frame and in terms of the specifics on it we mentioned the drivetrain um, there's also the console so the console is actually dyno powered so again that's another key point here so you don't actually have to have batteries um, which is perfect again not only a cost saving but also a, a time saving yep. um, I mean I won't mention the brands but I can tell you we had a lot of problems in the gym that I managed with um, uh, constantly getting out of sync and whatnot and batteries dying and you know the constant um, the, the amount of hours that we would have spent over time you know fiddling with them so you're saying none of that exists it's all in there now that's ah oh, that's such a plus as long as you're cycling <laughs> You're okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. You're okay. So, so, so what's this piece here? Like that's that's massive. That's, so yeah, so it looks impressive. So effectively, they've, they've looked at the key elements of the bike. They've removed yep. the need for batteries. Yep. From a member experience, with a bad, as you say, with a with a uh, a console that isn't working, and, and then the cost of batteries. So they've removed that. Right. Then the next big thing is around fit. Yep. Obviously, it takes a time to fit a bike. Yes. Um, and what they've tried to do is by simply just removing the need for a, a screw and pin yep. it's just nice easy adjustability oh. with a lock there on all the horizontal right right all the vertical it's just a simple simple release right so, so, again, so here I am thinking that that's like some kind of computer or something and that's actually uh, the funnel uh, for the for the correct. adjustment that's fantastic that's, it's a very simple adjustment yeah, yeah. and also ultimately what that means is it takes about a quarter of the time to set up than a normal spin bike so <laughs> From a from a, a trainer's perspective and a, and a spin uh, spin instructor's perspective, that's fantastic. Yep. It's just quicker to get their class up and running. And I just noticed, I just tested this out. It's a fixed wheel, so uh, the flywheel stops if you stop, and so obviously you're propelled forward. You know, Absolutely. And uh, that's what about a 30 or so kilo flywheel? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then in terms of the the actual uh, the, the the braking system, yep. neat little feature here. It's called um, Sprint Shift. Right. And what they've actually done is I've got a couple of settings. Right. Which just very simply ah, right. yeah, increase yeah, yeah. resistance. So yeah, yeah. again, and the more resistance design, you add, the the it shifts the correct. It yeah. increases it. Ah, smart. So again, it's around 
from a from a, a queuing <laughs> perspective in a class, you can just simply do one 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 movement, yeah. two clicks, and then you've added some like, resistance. I like I like you. And back to fast, load it up. You're back in a hill climb. Yeah, That's very great. clever, very clever. So they've really thought about it. And as I say, um, again, you know, with a, with such a pedigree in outdoor cycling, it makes sense for them to bring those learnings, even from the hoods on the on the handlebars, through into uh, the indoor arena. I mean, they even look like um, outdoor bikes. I mean, I actually hadn't noticed that. That's amazing. So the actual hood of the it looks like a road bike from yeah, an outdoor road bike. Absolutely. Wow. Okay, fantastic. All right, well, this is uh, Nick and Nate from uh, well, Fitness Room Cafe, iFitness. If you want to check out the stages uh, bikes in any more detail, go to iFitness on iFitness.com.au and check them out. Absolutely, please do. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. We'll come and show you one. Great, awesome, and we're out.